Hey, Brian King here. First order of business. At the conclusion of this video, I need a suggestion from you on what to call it. <laughs> I don't know how to name this topic. I just had my weekly uh, conference call with my clients where I work with them as a group and I coach them. And one of the strategies that just kind of came out of the ether was based on a story I remember from a couple of years ago. The story was of a man that uh, had a real bitter divorce and he had so much anger towards his ex that it was interfering with everything he was doing in his life. So the clever strategy he came up with was to change his password. Let's say his ex's name was Susan. He changed his password to forgive Susan. So every time he had to type in his password somewhere, his brain was getting this suggestion or this command to forgive Susan. So when he typed in this password, it's not like it reminded him to stop what he was doing and sit there and work through this complex step-by-step -step process to purge himself of any anger. It was more of a subtle suggestion to his self-conscious that this was something he needed to work on. And I think after about a year's time, it occurred to him that all of a sudden, he'd forgiven his ex. You know, this huge weight had lifted off his shoulders and it was simply by doing this, what could best be called an, a pattern interrupt, you know, where his main way of doing things was to be angry and bitter. There was this suggestion that, hey, forgive her. Hey, don't forget, you need to forgive this woman. And it allowed his self-conscious to do the work and he didn't have to really consciously put a, re a whole lot of effort into it. Now, I'm not saying this is the strategy. I'm saying it's a strategy that worked in this instance. And why do I bring this to your attention? Because there are some people, whether they have ADHD, Asperger's, or just some for some reason, they can get so focused in on a narrow set of information that they forget to consider other things, like how what they're doing might impact someone else and they're routinely being accused of being thoughtless and so on. So what I'm wondering is whether this technique would also work for those folks by constantly reminding them to, hey, consider your wife, or hey, consider what you're doing and how it might impact the company or whatever it is. And this little interrupt can take the form of a sticky note that's on the corner of a computer screen. It can be in the form of a screensaver it can be a reminder that pops up on the phone, say once an hour, that you have to look at and read, hey, consider so-and-so. So that although this is ordinarily shoved out of your conscious mind, that you're finding now a way to sneak it into your subconscious that's being constantly reminded so that lo and behold, from that point forward, you're suddenly being more considerate of this fact or this person than you would be ordinarily. Now. I'm just spitballing this. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know if this would be effective, but I think it's definitely worth a try for some folks to see if where other approaches have failed, this one may actually be successful. So if this applies to you, give it a shot and let me know if this is effective. And then we'll consider it a spot on strategy. So don't forget, I don't know what to call this video. So if you have a name for it, uh, feel free to let me know what it is so I can title this appropriately. I'm off to have dinner now. I just wanted to leave you with this thought. Have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. And this is Brian, and we'll talk again soon.